Hey Trickster, it's late at night. I've got an early morning tomorrow. I'm going to use a wild card episode. I give myself 12 wild card episodes. That's a, an episode where I use a trick that was recorded earlier. And I've only used one so far. So I'm going to use one tonight because uh, I tried to do a creepy trick for Friday the 13th. I've been working on it all week and it's kind of hit or miss. And then tonight I just cannot get it. Uh, I've been editing photos all day and trying to get this video project going and uh, so I'm just out of time. So I'm going to share a performance of me doing magic at the Desert Magic Seminar in 1999, uh, the Lance Burton Junior Competition. I was the first act to perform that day. Uh, my microphone was not very good. They didn't have the audio set up right because I was the first act, which was the story of my life at the time and kind of a reason I got into lighting and sound and everything. But uh, I'm going to share that performance with you right here. It's a very awkward teenage moment. Uh, I was beat out by uh, Joshua J. actually took first place in this contest. Um, I still like the trick. And at the end of the trick, I actually went and sat in the audience and ate the ice cream. So there's a little fun nugget for you. Thanks for watching, and I will see you tomorrow with a new trick. Boom! But watch the trick first. It's going to go to the trick and then right to the end credits. Cause... Uh, I love Las Vegas. It's great. There's lights, magic, shows. There's even magic shows. But best of all, there's the $2.99 all-you-can-eat buffet. <laughs> it's cool. You can get breakfast for dinner or lunch at midnight. And best of all, you can get ice cream all day long. <laughs> it's not the good stuff, though. It's the kind out of a machine. I remember when I was eight years old, my sister worked at Baskin Robbins. My mom and I would go there every day to pick her up. And every day we went, I would look at all 31 flavors. But I only wanted one. Vanilla. I wasn't picky or greedy. I just wanted two scoops of vanilla ice cream with whipped cream, sprinkles, and a cherry on top. So I would ask my mom, and she would say, no, we don't have time today, but here, have a cherry. So I'd take the cherry and eat it. But every time we went, I still wanted my ice cream. There were more and more excuses, like they put the scoops away or closed the register. But those cherries, they kept coming. <laughs> cherries became boring, and I would often play with them. I'd try to tie the stems into knots, because some guy told me this would amaze the girls. It took a while, but I finally got it. <laughs> there we go, yeah. After a while, I could even put it back onto the cherry. playing with the cherry, she'd say something like, stop playing with your food. And I'm like, what if I eat my toys? <laughs> she didn't think this was funny either. Uh, <laughs> so now it became a game. I would ask for ice cream and get a cherry. So I'd try to hide it. it didn't always work though. Once my mom caught me, she was surprised to see it wasn't where she thought it was. Another time I was playing and this happened. She thought I was crazy. So I made her watch that time and pulled up my sleeves and I was ready to go and I just smashed that cherry in my hand. It made a big mess. Then she really thought I was crazy. In fact, she still thinks this. <laughs> it worked though. See, she promised me would leave early the next day and I can get my two scoops of vanilla ice cream with whipped cream, sprinkles, and well, a cherry on top. And we did leave early. But we got stuck in traffic. By the time we got there, it was the same time as any other day. And you may have guessed it, I didn't get my ice cream. I did get a cherry though. Woohoo! <laughs> so that was the day I promised I would never eat another cherry again. 
Uh, I still do play with my food, as long as my mom's not watching. <laughs> so I tried to hide it and it just jumped back to the cup again. So one last time, I, I got rid of it, hoping maybe, just maybe, still. It would, let's see, two scoops. Oh. <laughs> Hey, and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you like videos just like this, please do us both a favor and click the subscribe button. Below that, you'll find the latest Fitzmagic show, and below that, you'll find a video recommended just for you. Thank you for watching, and click the subscribe button. Click the subscribe button. Click the subscribe button.